You can smile. <laughs> I hate doing this bit. <laughs> Hi guys. Alright. Hi, welcome back to the River X. You may have seen in uh, one of my recent videos, I broke my fly rod. So I've got a new old one. I say a new old one because I've just bought exactly the same rod as the one I broke. My uh, 10 foot three weight Agility 2. Um, for 50, 60 pound is a fantastic rod. Um, and I did break the top section, uh, but that was my fault just because I'm so heavy handed with it and so um, rough with it. Um, so yeah, bought myself a new fly rod. I've had it for about three, four weeks, um, but I only unpacked it last night. Um, and I didn't check, I just put it together here on the, uh, the bank side. Fortunately, it all goes together perfectly. Um, with Loxton, obviously, always with me. Um, slight difference today is, instead of him roaming free and me having to constantly make sure he's all right, I've used the, uh, the tether screw in the ground, which I use when I'm pike fishing because as you may have seen in a previous video, Loxton jumped into the river when I got a pike because he wanted to play with the pike and the lure and yeah. So to make sure things like that don't happen. And so when I'm in the river, because he gets a little bit stressed and what he wants to do is, if he can't be in the river with me, he wants to try and work out the way to get to me. And then one of the ways he does that is by leaving the bank side and trying to go upstream, downstream and trying to find in his head a way to me. So to avoid that, The happy chap is tethered. Having said that, I've tethered him so he can get into the river, which is where he loves to be. Um, and you can see he's doing a fine bit of work landscaping already. Now this is a nice little pool. Um, starts just up there, upstream. And not very good camera work. There's a little natural weir downstream over there where it ends. Nice little pool. Hold some nice trout, but I think between us, um, we would have put the fish down. <laughs> Especially Loxton doing a bit of gardening here. Um, but there is a chance I'm still going to get some pike lying just upstream where we've not been disturbing them. So I'm going to jump in the river. He's going to kick up a heck of a fuss because he's not with me and he's a big baby. Yeah. Um, and hopefully. I might get a couple of trout. He's really not happy already. Good boy. Right, let's get you on my head and let's get fly fishing. Just giving a fly a little bit of a wet. Well, I'd be no surprise to you, on fly I'm starting off with is the Alcare Caddis, my favourite go-to fly. There is a little bit of a, a hatch going on, nothing rising at the moment. I'm not seeing anything rising while I was setting up and then just messing about. But I'm hoping, as always with this Alcare Caddis, I can induce a trout to rise because I twitch it and give it a little bit of life. And I can induce a non non rising trout to come up and grab the fly. My casting needs to improve though. I've never been the world's best caster. God, that's in the zone. I thought there'd be a trout over there. There might be a trout over there. But it might not be interesting. My fly, you idiot. 
All right, my casting sucks today. Or well, so far. And it's one of the reasons because I am super wary of where Loxton is. And there's a tree behind me, or bush. When I move further upstream, those two won't be a challenge. Can't even see the grayling dimple in the water. Right, I'm just going to go around this area and I'm going to move Loxton upstream with me. Oh, there was a, there was a, there was a, that was a rise. That was a rise and I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't strike or anything. <laughs> just looked at it and then struck. Uh, what an idiot. There he is, just upstream, right under the bloody tree. I thought that one was going to have him. Flip sake! Right, did he miss time that? I think he did. I don't think he felt the fly. Or felt the hook. Whoa! Slippy rocks, steep hole. Right, you've got to come swimming then, mate. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Sit, stay. Stay. Come on. Yep. Just swim. Good boy. God, bloody rocks. Hold on. No. Let go. Good boy. Swim behind me, it's easier. This is where you are, mate. Good boy. All right, let's put you in here.
See, that's what I was trying to not happen. <sighs> Don't know if I can wade over there. No, I can't. Sorry, Richard, fly number two I've lost. Right, time to move locks to anything. Oh, sun's coming out, which is not helpful. Until now, the sun had been in, which was lovely. Oh, I can't believe it! A fish! Nice little brownie. Beautiful fish. Oh, see, this is where Loxton goes nuts because he wants to get involved. Right, barbless flies. Straight out. Beautiful. That's all we want, a few seconds. Yeah! You're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. Down, down, down. down. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Let's move you up. I've had three fish rise. Only one I've got to the net. But of those three fish that I got to the rise, only one of them was previously rising to any naturals. So the other two, I got to rise on my fly. Elk Air Caddis. Might not be a purist's fly because it's not matching the hatch. It's a stimulator. But by Jove it works. God, the river looks stunning though. Look at that view. And those that know, 100 yards over there is a reasonably main road and a load of houses. Well, when the water's like this, I cover it a few times just because the fish get fraction of a second to decide what's food and what's not and sometimes just that different cast a different light can get them to rise this isn't a beautiful manicured chalk stream river where it is gin clear I mean it's clear here but there and those waters Everything has to be spot on. This is a spate river where 
these are wild brownies and they get fractions of a second to decide what's food and what's not. I didn't bother bringing any water for Loxton because he's got river to drink out of, but I wish I'd have brought some water for me now. Ah, oh, that was a bloody rise when I was talking about water. Dickhead. Long distance release again. Right, I can't resist not fishing this little hot spot. Flipping egg pool, pay attention. There you go, first rise. So what I've learned today is my reactions have slowed amazingly since last time. to put some floatant powder on there. Good boy. Oh Richard, your flies are definitely working, I'm not. Good boy. Breeze is a little tinker. Ah! Oh, I saw the fish come out then for it. And I saw him return. That wasn't a bad sized fish. Oh, hello. Let's 
This is definitely a day of the trout winning. Bloody breeze. There's a nice fish rise under that tree there. But it's tricky with this breeze. Oh, some mayflies just come up there. Ah, you dickhead. one there as well. Is it a mayfly I need? I don't think I've got any mayflies. Got him. Hello, little Mr. Brownie. Even idiots like me can catch them. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Come here. Okay, Loxton's going loopy because I've got a fish. Stunning. You can't play with the fishes, mate. I was not expecting that little chap to be there. Good boy. So this is the old line. <laughs> fishing. He's been able to fish under these trees, but it's now six inches at least higher.
Maybe better for the fish. So the grumpy old man in me wants to knock it down. Old habits. <laughs> Dear me, focus. Focus. Okay, they're still on the old line, but I haven't caught them. Absolute plum. I don't think I've done one of these for a while. I'm going to do an outro. Oh, good boy. So I've only really fished two sections of this beat, um, and I picked them because. Sorry mate, down, down, because Loxton can be fixed to his uh, tether in the ground um, and I've picked on purpose shallow water with a bubble line, um, well basically that's where the smaller fish tend to be, upstream, I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, um, it's calmer, it's deeper, and that's where the bigger trout tend to lie, or the ones that I've caught anyway on this beach. Um, but I can't really fish with Loxton up there. Um, the reason why I did an outro was, with this weird Covid situation, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that word in films anymore, um, but with this virus, um, kids have been off school and stuff like that, things like this have happened. Where they've made a little weir, dam, so it's made the river a little bit deeper for here for them to play in. Now, I say the grumpy part of me wants to knock it down because it's not natural, um, but actually, I, it's not hurting anybody, is it? Um, I caught, <laughs> yeah, I caught one fish below it in one of my hot spots, and I had two of the rises which I missed. I did catch one here, just above it and i've missed i think three rises up there so i'm going to leave it because the kids like it it's not hurting anybody um and yeah and also i want to say was the rod awesome um it's amazing this rod for 50 60 quid i'm not quite sure 10 foot three weight rod and little wild is of that of this size that i'm hey hey loxton what are you doing? I'm going to let him in the river in a minute. For the wait, for the uh, for price, it's an amazing rod. Um, LK Caddis, an amazing fly. And thank you, Richard, for sending me some more. Um, I'll put a link in the description. He ties amazing flies. Um, so that's it. It's amazing to get. It's, I loved it. I haven't been fly fishing for quite a while because of the boy, and, and I'm a bit hooked on the whole pike fishing at the moment but this is nice so anyway i hope you're all well thank you very much for watching that's enough talking crap by me thank you very much see you soon cheers bye bye